Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video here on my channel. Today I quickly want to help you out with the Meat Loss Party event because, you know, Meat Loss Party event is finally online this year again. First I want to say thank you Pickcrafter for making the 5, five euro package great again. You're the best. And by the way, watch the whole video, you definitely want to miss nothing on this topic. Thank you. And now roll the intro. But I need to say, really? No new pickaxe again? What is that? Come on, we need more pickaxes. So, how to tackle a event the best? So, first, I would start and look at everything that's new with the event. The patch notes, the quests, the items, everything. So, the most important thing are the pickaxes, I guess. So, you definitely want to get the pickaxes first. Actually, the Meatless Party event has four pickaxes, the birthday pickaxe or the cake pickaxe, the present pickaxe and who, and here, the firework pickaxe, at least the event says that. So you want to get those first, if you don't get them instantly through buying or stuff, I don't know, I think two of them can only be obtained through chests, definitely buy the 5 euro package or 5 dollar, whatever. And if you then don't manage to get it as well, buy another chest, a big one. If you still don't get it, then your luck is not good this event. Just leave it. Some may say the event quests, which you can see here, are the most important. Actually, I don't think they are. Maybe you could say they are important, but technically for, every, for someone who has already every pickaxe you can get with the event or with chests I you shouldn't bother this stuff too much because I just want to get to the last because I want the badge again I already have it at diamond but still I mean 10% PPS boost that's good so yeah definitely you want to get there but it's not that important also the runic are quite nice so yeah it's definitely good to get there but don't see these quests as the most important thing. It's more like a side quest. If you try to buy the PPS items, for example, just let me scroll down, uh, these ones here. No matter if the first time or the second time, if you want to buy these and you definitely want to, focus on that, focus on that, focus on the pickaxes or whatever. While you're focusing to getting that stuff here, I don't know, whatever you need, do the quests. So example, I want to get all those stuff. For me, the most important thing is the friend of meat love. Not because of the runic, because of the achievements. Because if I have this little thing here, I get the last achievement of all 99. And I definitely want to get all the achievements. So that's the most important for me. So I need some presents. Okay, if I need presents, I need this stuff. And somehow Pickcrafter resetted my items. I farmed some, but they resetted it, so that, that's not nice from Pickcrafter, I guess. But still, I need a lot of stuff. So, where do I get this? I get it from the creepers. Because, if you didn't notice it, I don't know if one were here, there are these event creepers. Just creepers, but red. You can't miss them. I just throw a snowball at them and get a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's how I get my stuff, but still there are other ways, and the other way is the party chests. So, let me quickly show you what I mean. Quest 21 says I need to open 10 meat loss party chests. So, that's these things here. So, I start unlocking them. If I would play on mobile now, I maybe watch some ads or something. Let me quickly open now. And, as you can see, I get some of these items. That's cool and all, because that is my main quest I'm going for. It's these items here. But while I'm getting these items, I also try to get these quests here. So, as you can see, the first day went good for me. Uh, already 20, I think 18? No, se uh, quest 17 I stopped yesterday, so that's, that's good. I definitely managed to get it to 
mm, to the last one this event but still you know what I mean I try to get the event quests but it's not my focus I focus on the event items because you can buy them multiple times you should first focus the friend of meatloaf because of the achievement and the pickaxe so just focus this and by the side do the quests but not it's it's not your main activity in this event so definitely don't focus on the quests i mean if you already have everything bought yeah of course that's what you need to do but still that shouldn't be your main focus so next what are the best event items so all of them are pretty good except friend of meatloaf because i mean 50 runic isn't that much of course you can buy it i will buy it and 50 runic is okay but it's not that much so definitely you want to buy, buy the 5 amp shirt the party hat the pinata or what else can you buy let me quickly take a little look here you can also buy the 5 amp orb it gives 30 percent so it is really op i bought it two times because you can buy it once per event so definitely buy it I mean 30% that's a lot of PPS and don't be confused it doesn't multiply this PPS so if you buy an item give that gives you 10% extra PPS you might think you get 10% of your PPS added no that's not how it works you need to look in your statistics and here is a number called raw PPS and the raw PPS are the real PPS. The PPS you get from biome items. Then you have the multiplier, and that is if you buy items like that, and then it's the badge multiplier, and then you have your PPS. So as you can see, I have half a billion raw PPS. So, I, so if I buy a 10% item, I get 53.45 million PPS. Not one 0.6 billion so don't overestimate it it's not that op as you might think and also ooh, the iron chest let me quickly open it and also these things here count as event chests so you want to open these two what i'm gonna do now as well is you should definitely do that if you need chests and you want to get every one of these quests just collect the quest thingies here the middle of party chests because you can collect them even before the you can collect the rest so definitely do that here as you can see two more and that's easy to chests for me so it's easier to get this quest done as you can see I already got four of ten and now I open the fifth one so now to the pickaxes starting off with the cake pickaxe the cake pickaxe I think is one year old by now I think so definitely it is kinda okay it's like the fire pickaxe not the fire ability not a fire ability like fire ability plus one block fortune or one block break so it is good what it means is you just have normal fire like every other pickaxe in the game almost and have an extra block fortune that can be pretty good for low prestige players for me it's not that good so it's exactly as good as fire then there is the present pickaxe pps mega boost increases pps for a short time so let me quickly show you how much pps you get boosted i don't even know how much so just look at my pps almost let's just say 16.7 billion it's easier and now i have well that is embarrassing only 50 percent that is really embarrassing because normally while pickaxe ability it quadruples your pps so it is actually worse than fire do you even have fire no you don't so this pickaxe is the trashiest of <laughs> pickaxe i ever saw i would rate this pickaxe 2 out of 10 because i mean no fire the upgrading is enormously expensive and it gives you nothing i mean can i just give it a 1 of 10 <laughs> Can I just give it minus 10 of 10? I don't know. Yeah, 1 of 10. And um, the birthday is a little bit better than normal fire. If normal fire would be 4 or 5, this one would be 6. So a bit better. Probably a bit better just. 
So, now I have a problem actually because the pick ability is running. I can't show the pickaxe. So, let me quickly forward this. Whoosh, and now we're here to test the firework pickaxe. Celebration Black blocks with one strike. That just means it's fire. So, definitely just as good as fire. I don't know why they make so much fire abilities, but still, yeah. Let's move over to the patch notes. So now that we looked at all the pickaxes, items and the event stuff, I'm quickly going into my Steam just to show you the patch notes. So the update is actually version 5.2.0.4, so it's a, just a small update and it's called the quality of life update. So let me quickly show you. Hey everyone, the middle of party event is now live. Wish her a happy early birthday. In this update we also addressed and fixed the following. So by the way, if you didn't know already, the Midlost Party event is just the birthday of Pickcrafter practically. So that's the sixth birthday of Pickcrafter actually. So yeah, congratulations. Changes. Damage of the Rock Shield Pickaxe has been adjusted. I'm gonna take a look at this just in a second because I don't know really what that means. Offline block and item collections have been improved, so if you're offline you get your blocks and items better now, I guess. Performance improvements has been made and I really think that's a really good change because on mobile sometimes it can be a bit laggy if you have the high resolution and such stuff, I don't know. On PC it's not a problem, as you can see it's very fluid and everything, but if you play like me with high, on mobile it can be a little buggy, so thank you Pickcrafter. Fixes. Fix an issue where event chest couldn't be opened anymore. I didn't experience that at all, but I think that's very good. Fix an issue where in-game purchases weren't granted properly, and this is a really big problem. Because I bought some, I mean two years ago or something, a pickaxe chest and never got my pickaxe chest so that's really bad and my friend actually bought a five euro package a month ago or something and didn't receive anything uh yeah i don't know if he has it now because he wrote a letter to pickcrafter but yeah just it's definitely good so yeah like like for that one fixed several exploits regarding event rewards and prestiging so I didn't knew there was a prestige exploit. I knew there was an event rewards one. You could just go from PC, manual save, and then go to mobile and your quest would instantly be granted. That They fixed that, they fixed that because uh, today I played on mobile and PC and nothing happened, so yeah. I really didn't know there was a prestige exploit. Fixed an issue where secret egg locations didn't reset for the next egg hunt event. So, as I told you some weeks ago, I didn't play the egg hunt event that much because nothing new. But still, yeah, that, that's a good thing. Make sure to let us know what we can improve on. We also have Discord, blah 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 blah. Definitely go on that Discord. It's really really good. I love the Discord. It's just so nice and. As you can see here, Errungenschaften, as it is called in German, means achievements. And as you can see, I've got every single one of these, except one. And that belongs to this one item you can buy. So then I have every one, every one of these little things. And by the way, because, because it says I only have 103 hours playtime, that means only on PC. Most of the time I had on um, mobile, so I think I have 100 hours on PC and 1200 hours on mobile, so I have way more than 100. Don't just think it was 100 hours, it's over 1k. I don't know exactly, by the way. But yeah, I think that's everything I've got for you today. So let me know in the comments if that video was necessary or I don't know if this video was kind of useless, but still, I hope I helped some some of you if not i'm sorry i just want to help you guys i don't manage it every time but still yeah we just party event yeah only four days if you watch this probably only two days 
Yeah, so hurry up, hurry up. What are you waiting for? Play the event, join the Discord, sub to my channel, like the video, and definitely see you next time. That was your favorite pick of the Nurture School. Have a nice day and bye. By the way, thank you for 600 subs. <laughs>